Hi, cutie pies. It is Lanikia, and I am coming to you with another episode of General Hospital. This is season 59, episode 115. And as always, I'm going to start off from least interested to most interested based on my opinion. Um, and it's not that that it's because because they have a good storyline. I'm just I just don't care for them. Um, so the, we're going to start off with Portia and Stella. So Portia and Stella talk and they're talking about Marshall, um, who Portia is like, did I hear correctly? And Stella said, excuse me, Stella told Portia, did I hear correctly? And she said, yes, you did. We're moving in together. And um, so they're going to move in together, Curtis and Portia. And Stella's like, she, 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 she's happy for them, but she tells Portia, be careful because Marshall is up to something. Like he just shows up out of nowhere and there's some secrets from his past, some people and everything. They she just feels like he is up to something. So be careful. Watch Curtis because right now Curtis is blinded, she feels like. And um she just wants Curtis to be safe with his dad or whatever. And Portia pretty much is like, What you mean? But then at the end she finally comes around and is like, Okay, yeah, I'm gonna watch him. Girl, just watch this man and make sure he's all right. <laughs> um, so then we go to Drew um, okay, so Drew, Marshall, and Curtis are at the gym and they're working out or whatever. And Curtis is just like with Drew, like you went up against Sonny Corrientos and lived to tell the story. And Drew was like, he's not that bad. He's really generous. Yada, 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 yada. He was like defending Sonny. Like he was like, he's not a bad guy once you get to really know him. And I think if you got to know him, you would like him. And and Marshall was just like, yeah, I met um, dudes like that from back in the day or whatever from people in my past and all that. Now nah, I'm a past or whatever. So then he leaves. And so when he leaves, Curtis and Marshall, are, Marshall leaves. So when he leaves, Curtis and Drew talk and Drew is like, listen, I could find out information on him if you're still not trusting him. And Curtis is just like, I want to know, but I don't want to know. So I'm not going to find out. But then he's like, man, maybe I should know. It's like, sir, you should know. <laughs> so, um, at the end, uh, Marshall ends up coming back and they're wrapping up their gym workout and everything. And, um, cause, cause Drew doesn't even trust Marshall himself. He's like, you hear that comment he made about people from his past? Like, I feel like you should look into this. Um, so when Marshall comes back, Drew tells him, I have a proposition for you, um, opportunity and credit is like, mm -hmm. I don't know what he told me, but anyways, that's them y'all. So then we go to, now I do like uh these people, but I'm but they I'm there wasn't much. So that's the only reason I'm putting them as my one of my least interested. Because I actually do like Robert and Anna, but um it wasn't much to their story today. So Robert and Anna talk. So when they came back, Felicia and Anna came back and they walked into the hospital, Stella had them give a give a big ovation, um, uh, you know, clapping, cheering or whatever. Felicia was eating that up, but Anna was just like, ugh. Um, so Robert pulls Anna to the side, of course, and they talk. And he's like, he asked for her to give Mayor um, the key to a key to the city. And she's like, I don't want that. Because Anna liked Peter, the man that she thought he could have been. And she feels guilty for letting him die. Like, she was like, I didn't call the ambulance. I let him die or whatever. And Robert is just like, that man, that man was not the same. And she was like, she's starting to feel like the man that she thought Peter was never even existed and Robert's pretty pretty much telling her you are exactly right Peter was a sociopath like the, he he used his charm he used to get his way and everything but that they can only keep that face up for so long and so that person wasn't him so he just comforts Anna and lets her know because she feels like she failed Peter and he like there was nothing you could do like for certain people I, and I know I've been like that and other people have been like that too but for certain people there is nothing you can do nothing you can say no, there's nothing you can do they are the way they are you just gotta let them go and let God but anyways that's what it was and I hope they don't have Pete, uh, Anna on a downward spiral but it looks like she took it okay um after she talked to Robert and everything Okay, who we go to now? Then we see <sighs> Okay. I'm going to you know I love me some Nina, but I, I hate her being this pick me girl. And today I was really feeling it a little bit cuz she kind of stood up for herself. 
until the end. Okay, so then we have Nina and Sonny, right? So Sonny's waking up because you know he done got drunk last night. So she done put got him got him back to you know the place or whatever, and he's safe and all that. And so he, she was about to leave, and he said, "Stay with me" or whatever. And she was like, "I have responsibilities. You know, I've already been neglecting work and yada yada yada." And he like nobody thinks you're irresponsible or whatever. She was like, "Oh, please." So, but anyways, he gets her to stay a little bit with them, and. They talk and she says she plays the message for Sonny and he's she was got to turn it off and he said no no keep playing it and she told him and she told him it wasn't what he said on the message that bothered her because he was drunk you know and he wasn't being himself she said what bothered her was the drinking like you're drinking again. And you're mixing it with your meds and all that. And she's like, I've been down that road. And he's like, it's not the same. She says, I understand that, but it is. <laughs> you know, you cannot mix meds without, you cannot mix alcohol with your meds. But, you know, Sonny not trying to hear this. He needs to hear this. I hope they're not trying to make Sonny an alcoholic because I don't see that as his personality. To be quite honest with you, I don't see that as his personality. But, you know, especially if you got to run an organization and stuff. That I mean, no. And you got those children, like, no, you can't be drunk. Uh, Ava gonna take her baby away. But anyways, so so they're talking or whatever, and Nina was like, you wouldn't even bother hitting me up if everything was good with Carly or if you were not drunk or whatever. Because have you called me any other time when you were not? But Nina, if you know this, why you keep running to him though? Like, you keep running to him, so I see what you're saying, because you know you're my girl, so I see what you're saying, but I also don't see it, because you keep going, like, you don't have to go when he's drunk, you could have easily told the bartender, hey, make sure he stays there, and I'm gonna call him a car, like, tell him I'm on my way or whatever, and then tell, let the car know, hey, I'm not coming, you're like, get in the car, you gonna lose your child, your children, because I'm telling you, Ava and, and Carly would do that they would give you strict visitations um what is it what is it what is it called i can't think of it when it's visitations but it's but it's restricted you know limited visitations they would give you limited visitation and you get to drink it when you are on your meds and all that kind of stuff sir you would not get to keep them children but anyways so they're going back and forth or whatever because sunny sunny's like i'm not a drunk or whatever you know it is what it is. And then they're going back and forth. And Sonny's like, what's this conversation was about? And she was like, I can't even remember. Nina, I like you. Don't do this. She uh, can't remember and stuff. And, you know, she she just like her some Sonny. Let's move on from them because Nina disappoints me. I like Nina and that disappoints me. Always making her a pick me woman. Pick me, please. Um. So then we see... Okay, so then we see Ava and Carly talk, right? So Ava, Carly has invited Ava to her office, and she tells Ava that she and Sonny are getting divorced. Now, Carly, this is not the way to go about asking for a favor, but she tells her we're getting divorced, and Ava's like, whoa, I didn't realize it was going to be like that. And she said, oh, really? Or did you, because weren't you coaching Nina to get him or whatever? And, and, and Ava is like, girl, I did not coach that woman to get him. Or whatever. I did not do that. I didn't do that to you, Carly. Uh, or whatever. But um, in the end, she called Nina to the office because she wants to still be a part of Avery's life. And they want to make this so Avery doesn't suffer. And Nina was like, she's... Uh, Nina. Ava was like, Avery loves you. She's going to suffer. You know. Um, and, But then she told Carly, well, I need you. What? She told Carly, what I need... What I need you for? <laughs> what do I need you for when uh Nina Nina with Sonny? You have no influence. Your influence is limited. It's gone. And so Carly was like, "Girl, please. I've I've <laughs> this is not a good thing. But I've lived through Sonny and his many affairs. Nina is just the flavor of the month." I said, "Dang, but it's true." Don't do my girl Nina like that, though. But Nina is just the flavor of the month. And you really want to pick go against me with the flavor of the month? Now, Ava came back to herself. And she said, listen, Avery loves you. And 
I'm not going to do you like you did me, like try to get her out, like get her out of the life. Now, Carly was doing like they do when they don't want you to get near their children. They will work some stuff out with the lawyers and all that kind of stuff. And some, mm, and they'll do it. But um, Ava was pretty much just like, I'm not going to do you like that. Avery loves you and not having you, not seeing you would hurt her. And I'm not, I don't want to hurt her. So. Me and you against, you know, if anything ever happens, you and I, we got this against Sonny if he does anything or whatever. And, and Carly was like, thank you. And that's how that was. That's how that went, y'all. All right. So then what, what do we have? Um, oh, Felicia and Mac talk. It wasn't much. Felicia and Mac talk. They're happy. Maxie's safe and, and everything. Okay. I'm going to say this. Felicia is... <laughs> Her acting to me, it's cringy to watch. I, I don't know what it is. It's cringy to watch. And I'm like, please stop giving her scenes. Please. Please. I, I, I just can't stand it. I, I can't stand it. Um, Sorry. That's just how I feel about it. Okay. So then we see, and our last thing, I believe it's Maxi. I think I've gotten to everyone. Um, so then we see Maxie. So Maxie is there and she she shows up at Brooklyn's house. So before she gets there, it's Brooklyn, Ned, and Chase. And you know, there's they're they're sad, but they're happy that Maxie is found. And so Maxie shows up and she said she came to, you know, to get her, you know, of course to get her baby. And so Chase and Brooklyn leave, and so Maxie and Ned are talking, and she said, Did you see this scenario? And she said, Killing Peter, she she had multiple ways she was going to kill him. And I can imagine. <laughs> but she said she had multiple ways. But anytime it came to um, Louise, she, it, her, it went black. Because the longer she was away from her, the more she was like, would she be doing her a disservice, you know, by getting her? You know what I mean? Would she be doing her disservice by getting her or whatever? And would she, you know, she doesn't, she wouldn't know me, and you know, and everything. <sighs> the connection. And uh, Ned, even though his heart is breaking because that's his grandbaby, you know, he said, um, Maxie, you are her mother. She knows you. You know, she you you are the mother. And so that's when um, Brooklyn brought the baby out and Maxie held her and, and she told her, you got to play Springsteen and everything. She was just telling her things that Louise liked. And Maxie was like, I didn't know any of that. And Bailey was like, <laughs> Bailey, Brooklyn was like, don't you worry. I'm going to teach you or whatever. Um, I'm going to teach you how everything is. Don't you worry. Don't, don't fret about any of that. And so Maxie was just like, thank you so much. You know, and Brooklyn was like, you know, you're welcome. So then Ned and because Ned and Chase had left them alone so they could talk or whatever. And then they came back and um, Maxie. But before they came back, when it was just Maxie and Brooklyn, she told her, I'm not changing her name. It's going to be um, Bailey Louise or Louise Bailey. Bailey Louise, I believe. Bailey Louise. Because she wanted to keep that for Lulu. And then for uh, Brooklyn, she's going to keep Bailey. So that was really sweet. And then when they, when she was about to leave, you know, uh, she knew they were sad or whatever. And she told Brooklyn, one more name change. And she was like, no, if you don't want to keep Bailey, it's okay. And she was like, no, since I'm mommy, you're going to be Mama Brooklyn, which was really sweet. And Brooklyn was like, oh, my God. You know, and um, it was it was just a real cute moment. Y'all, this was a filler episode. I know, I know, I know. Um, but they just trying to set this up for Friday. They just getting some episodes. We'll set it up for whenever they're gonna ha have their thing. I mean, sometimes it just can't all be dramatic. Peter can't die every episode, you know. So it is what it is. But I'm like, it killed him in the middle of the week. You would have thought that would have been like a Friday episode, like close this week out, where we like, woof. Let's see Monday if he really dead. But if they didn't. They went ahead and killed him off. So Anna's not doing so well with it. But girl, that man, that man was no good. And you did the right thing because he didn't need to come back and hurt anyone else. Uh, especially not Maxie. So even though you feel bad and you feel like you failed him, you didn't. He was who he was. He made those choices. Maybe I'm talking like this real people. <laughs> That's what happens when you get to watching these for years. But anyways, y'all, I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Sorry this video was late, but like Thursdays are my busy day and I 
did not realize how busy I was going to be um, tonight. And finally, finally, I got some kind of response from the IRS over my taxes. Yes. I mean, they ain't, they not coming, but at least I got some kind of response. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.